If you've ever had the pleasure of visiting Sedona, Arizona, you've undoubtedly noticed that the rocks there are very, very red. Normally, sedimentary rocks, rocks that are formed by the deposition and compaction of sediment, aren't so visually stunning. So how exactly did the rocks of Sedona become so red? Well, we can thank iron for that. When the sediment that composes these rocks was deposited, iron-rich groundwater filtered through the open pore spaces between the grains and left the grains with a thin coating of iron oxide. Iron oxide is simply a chemical compound that is composed of both iron and oxygen. You likely know of it as rust. This iron oxide coating is only one half of one percent of the rock's weight, so you can think of it like the hard candy coating on the outside of an M&M. The iron in the groundwater came from the chemical weathering of iron-bearing minerals, like hematite. When the sediments were buried, water chemically reacted with the iron in the minerals to rust out iron ions into solution. After the iron-rich groundwater left its coating on the grains, the area experienced erosion, exposing the beautiful red rocks that we see today. You may though notice that there are some white bands and spots in the red rocks. There are white horizons here because these grains are slightly larger than the others, meaning there is more pore space between them. Because of the larger spaces between the grains, it is easier for the iron-rich groundwater to move through without leaving behind a stain on them. And now you know how the rocks of Sedona, Arizona got their beautiful red hues.